I'm Taylor Hart, and this is Entomological Etymology. For episode three, let's zoom out and get the big picture on our tiny friends. Today, we're covering words for bugs as a whole. The word bug has been used for itsy bitsy creatures at least since 1620. But the word's older than that. It just used to have a different meaning. Before then, bug actually meant devil or something spooky. The older version of the word survives in modern English, at least for Dungeons and Dragons fans, in the word bugbear which is a type of goblin. It also gives us bogey, and through some sound shifts, probably the name Puck, as in A Midsummer Night's Dream. Bug traces back to Middle English Uga, which goes back even further to Proto-Indo-European root bu, meaning to swell, a root that also gives us the word big. And that's a little ironic, if you ask me. Modern bug probably gained its meaning by conflation with Middle English Buddha, which gives us the word beetle. What's appropriate, then, is that the first ever insect to be called a bug was the bed bug, which is, of course, a type of vampire. To this day, entomologists refer to the bed bug and its relatives as the true bugs. These creatures share the trait of having a sharp proboscis that they use to puncture things and suck fluid, sometimes blood, sometimes plant sap. The true bugs are members of order Hemiptera, meaning half-wing, and some other members include aphids, stink bugs, and spotted lanternflies. Of course, true bugs aren't the only creatures that realize they can get a nutritious meal from blood. The mosquitoes figured that out completely independently. But mosquitoes are actually flies, not true bugs. And yes, I know most of you don't care about what entomologists say and just call any creepy crawly a bug. You do you. So what about insect? While bug is Germanic, insect is a Latinate, derived from the root in, meaning the same as in English, and sect, like in section, meaning cut. So insect is literally cut in, meaning an animal whose body is made up of segments with clear divisions. But if you trace further back, you find that insect is a Latin translation of a Greek word, meaning essentially the same thing. That Greek word is entomon, En, meaning in, and tome, meaning cut. Contrast that with atom, which is another Greek word, meaning uncuttable. Entomon gives us, of course, entomology, the study of insects. Isn't it kind of neat that insect and entomology are basically the same thing, just in Latin versus Greek? From an entomological perspective, insect refers to a diverse lineage of six-legged land-dwelling arthropods. And in recent years, another unique and possibly defining feature of insects was discovered. Insects use a unique type of protein in their sense of smell, a class of tetrameric or four-component proteins that form chemical-sensitive ion channels called odorant receptors. But most of the time, we look at creatures from the outside. Insects have their skeletons on the outside, or exoskeletons, for that segmented body armor that makes up the notched body. Just like our endoskeletons, or inside skeletons, the insect exoskeleton provides rigid structure to the body and creates places for muscles to attach and pull against. So okay, some bugs drive me crazy, those little biting devils. But next time you squash a bloodsucker, listen for the crunch. And be thankful that their little segmented exoskeletons are no match for you, you giant monster.